Hey, hey, my beautiful peeps, locking down the truth with Marcy Locke. So this morning I'm about to go do something called Body Rock. Uh, someone invited me to because I love epic new awesomeness. And since I was going to this class that was close to my boy's school, I told the nanny to not worry about grabbing him this morning. I was going to make him breakfast and spend the morning with my boys and bring him to school. And we got to experience and, and uh, practice communication. And this is what I, I wanted to share that was really coming up for me is so many people, I get that, you know, my uh, experience, my kids, and obviously how we operate and are asked, I get asked constantly about conscious parenting. And I'm actually just wrapping up recordings for my Epic Relationships Breakthrough Program that talks about how you clearly communicate to consciously working through whatever shows up to be able to get what you want. Because I believe our society, literally like less than 1% of us have ever been taught clear communication, not projecting outward, but always going internal and being able to clearly, you know, request and, and communicate effectively. And so this is my point that I want to share with you and why I've gotten to this experience with my boys where literally like we only experience epic awesomeness. Every single relationship in my life, in my space is magnifying, is inspiring, is awesome. There's no settle or sacrifice to tolerate. And this morning talking to my boys as, as I'd see them like want to just, you know, their patterns would come up like Sky, if he gets a certain amount of frustration, he wants to just like shut down and be like, cool, it's fine. And instead of staying open and seeing like, okay, cool, we're, we're just breaking it down. We're like, we're just getting curious. And, and so I'll use examples and say to him, hey, babes, has, it is uh, from the past when we had issues come up, remember that if we looked at it and we got curious and we just got interested and we're just like, hmm, I'm curious, I'm interested in this. And like, let's get some feedback from this. Pretending we're a three-year-old playing a curiosity game. This is actually how the subconscious mind works is that we could say, you know, what, what did, what, what triggered you? What triggered me? Well, what was my response or what was my pattern? Ooh, did that work or did that not? Did that give us what we wanted? And we get more clear on what we then could create to be able to have a great relationship. So we see every single disconnect. Every time you're doing this, we saw every time we had even stuff show up and I was, whether I got triggered and turned into bitch mom or we had any type of experience, it was perfect because it gave us feedback of what was working, what wasn't working. And by looking at that, we could get curious as to like, oh, this is why. So even this morning as we're rushing out, cause we had a couple times stuff come up and we're like, Hey, this is what we're going to practice is we're going to practice anytime you say you made me do this or you think that, or you felt this way. Again, it's always outside of ourselves. Are you ever inside the person's head? Are you inside their body? Could you ever know? So I, I use the example with them. Could you, could, could, could I ever be in your brain? Could I know what you're thinking? No. Can I ever be really in your body? Know what you're feeling? No. So it would be crazy for me to think that I can claim what's going on for you. Just like it's crazy for you to claim what's going on for your brother or for someone else. So we get to take full responsibility for ourselves and say, Oh, I noticed when that was said, this is what I felt. This is what I saw. This is what, you know, what came up for me. What I'm wanting is this. So this is a request or this is, I want to understand what you meant. And by doing this and taking full responsibility for ourselves, we, we fill in those gaps and we no longer have to be a projecting. So what they're practicing even more this week is catching themselves and never saying you or made or make or pointing out and turning it on themselves and getting more clear and making clear requests. And it comes down to as simple as this. So we're, my boys have this, um, uh, <laughs> they have this deep fear of spiders that we've worked on for years because they were told some things about spiders and, 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 and so when spiders in their space are like, ah, and understanding that I used to have the same thing and I used to be afraid of everything. And I did all these journeys and experiences to break down for, for me and see that it was not real. Um, you know, I did things like climbing through caves in New Zealand where I got to crawl past spiders that were this big, right past my face. And, um, so we just going in the car and again, now we're kind of rushed because, you know, we had a couple of things we got to practice with our communication to get clear on our commitments about. And, uh, we go to grab the door handle and there's a little spider hanging from it. And Skyler's like, mom, there's a spider. I'm like, yeah, cool. Awesome. We get to be at peace with spiders. I'll just move the spider. And we hurry and get in the car and, and we're pulling out literally, this is less than a minute later. We're pulling and backing out. And Skyler says, mom, I I'd like to be open with you about something. I'm like, of course, baby, you can always be open with me about everything. And he's like, I noticed I felt unheard when you, you said when the, you know, you responded about the spider that way, like I just get to be okay with my fear and I felt unheard and like, you don't acknowledge that I have, you know, an issue with the spiders. Instead, it's just like, you just get to be okay with it. And I'm like, ah, baby, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that you felt that way. When that was said, I said, you know, I apologize. It came across that way. Again, we don't say sorry. Cause sorry is just like shaming yourself and saying something was bad or wrong. We say, thank you. This is what's true. So I say, thank you for letting me know that that's how you felt. 
I was, it probably came out that way because I was just rushed and I was like, what I meant by that was, I understand that fear because I used to experience that fear. What I meant is, yeah, cool, let's break it down in the moment and go, oh, what's really true? There's just a spider here. We just get to move it and we get to be okay with it and be a piece of it because guess what? There's spiders everywhere. And if we focus on being afraid of them, of course they're gonna show up in our space. If we focus on being at peace with them, of course, then you know, we're at peace with them. And so I just got to break it down to him as like what my real intentions were and why I would, and so it didn't become a thing where, so this is where, where beliefs and stuff happen, is that if he wouldn't have felt that he could just communicate what he was thinking and feeling, then I wouldn't know what he was thinking and feeling and break it down of what was true, that I support him, of course, like this is what I intended and how we could break it down to create a solution and it be effective for him in his life, not, well, I can't speak up or say what I feel or think because you know, then I'm just gonna be shunned or I should show up this way like a man and not be afraid of spiders, etc. That's where all the bullshit happens. So this is why communication is mastering your consciousness and knowing how to my alarm just went off, so it might have paused the video. I get to go into my class now. Anyways, wanted you guys to hear this cycle of communication of going from a problem or what I call an opportunity all the way to solution. And by being willing to look at your shit and what shows up for you and break that down and be open to all things, you get to create clarity and you just get greater and greater relationships. Love you guys. Power choice is yours. Choose your best life. Lock it down.